So, now we have to take care of all the things that come with a new rain. Something we can't really help. It happens every time someone dies. So, what do we need to take care of? A lot of things, and so we shall. First things first, the great work that cannot continue. Because apparently, our ruler needs to be nomadic, be of the culture horse, or has the trait lunatic. So we will not be able to carry on with this. Which... Okay, I did not know. We could... <laughs> What the hell? Okay, well then. This will just be a thing until we have a new lunatic on the throne. Fine. People don't like us. Well, okay, we need to... We need to populate our court anew. So, populate it we shall. And of course we need to have the powerful vassals first. Um, he is okay as a chancellor. So he's not going to find a better job within our council. So let's have him here. And we'll have our husband to be our spy master. He's not ideal for it. I'm gonna actually rip nah. Let's have our husband as spy master. It's not the greatest choice, but well, we could do worse. And let's have him be our court chaplain. Let us build our legend and the zeal and train some troops at home. We don't really need to fabricate claims, so he'll just perform statecraft. Our council will remain discontent for two more months. Which generally happens with a ruler change, and our husband will be our designated regent. Court physician will actually become this guy. Master of the horse. Let's give these out to people we would like to be friendlier to us. So, a new commander slot. This guy. Good. So we've taken care of that. We can set our crown focus, which again, I think only allows for prosperity events to pop up. That's fine. Let's check her out and pick a focus. We're a little bit parched on troops because, well, we're not terrible with this, but we're also not super great. So let's go down the warpath in the beginning. Because we need to create some new alliances and some people might, might need pressing for that. Let's check what should be our focus. Become the Queen of Ireland. Following the footsteps of our great dynasty, we should try and accomplish this. Vassal inheritance warning. Yeah, okay, well... Why is she not a dynastic heir? Ah, God. All the things to take care of. We could adopt feudalism. Which we are 100% not going to do, not at this stage. Because it would weaken us quite greatly. And currently we need to be as strong as we can be. So let's have a little look at our pacts. We have a few alliances which are primarily with our own vassals. We'll secure all the non-aggression packs that we can within this. Sometimes they do accept them, sometimes they don't. Not entirely sure what this relies on. 
But having an auto-aggression pack to them is generally a really good idea. Good. They don't want an alliance. Now, we still have one daughter. Who is... Unbetrothed. So let's see if we can't secure an alliance through this. And still keep it in our family. There's only really too few options. So we'll hold out hope that it's not going to come to this where we need her to be our heir or provide heirs. So we'll look to the Welsh or the Irish. Let's look to the Welsh. I have a bit of trouble here. Now. We are not as strong as we used to be. There are things to consider. Like all our vassals are not super happy with us. Not yet anyway. It might grow fonder as time progresses. But for now, if we check how many of our vassals would raise their troops in support of us, it's probably not all that many. So how do we secure ourselves? Now him, we can take, so he will become our first tributary in this. He has 950 potential troops coming to his aid. And we have 2419, which are most likely not going to come here. So what we could do, and what we also should do, is soften our targets up. So... In good old Irish tradition, we're going to raise our levies. Which is just this, because we lost all these counties. But that's fine. Let's look for some great military minds out there. Oh, someone who is good at sieging, that's always good. We can tell by this he's a siege leader, so his siege is over much quicker. That is someone we want. Now how many troops can he field? A uh, similar amount. So actually we're going to... I should have checked who I can declare war against before. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do have anything sensible to spend? Not really. So, let's jump on his 300. We, we do have decent enough generals here, so this will be fine. And we'll soften him up first, take his stuff, have him be our first tributary. And we'll continue doing this until we are back to our old glory and strength. Good. The two people I wanted to be our commanders have arrived, so they shall be named thusly. And we really only want to replace these two guys. Though he's really strong because it was a light infantry leader. So actually we might want to replace this guy with this guy. So let's do this. And make sure that who leads the siege we took someone which we can't ransom. Now the siege leader should always be the guy with the siege skill. That way the siege is over much quicker. Again, he won't be able to raise his troops because we're sitting right on top of them. With all our retinues. Let's see what we can afford. Oh, we can have more retinue troops, which is nice. A half-brother was born to us. Hmm. Okay. He shall be named after his father, Edekon. Let's see. 
who we can sell, um, betroth him to for an alliance. Anything good? Frankish, Welsh, 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 and Anglo-Saxon. We'll take those. I'll take the ugly Welsh girl. <laughs> Even one alliance right now will help. It was one of those situations where I didn't want to tell the truth in, a ca in case it would hurt the person. But at the same time, honesty is a virtue. Lion don't hurt anyone. Be honest and tell it as it is. So we might become honest, which gives us more diplomacy but less intrigue. Or we could be deceitful there. Fairly opposite. I think we should go with honest. Because the same trait opinion is pretty good. And the diplomacy plus three isn't to be scoffed at. And our intrigue is low as it is. So There we go. Already improved as a person. And here's the next thing. Be improving as a person. Which is lovely. We don't really need it since we are not a commander. We could command things. And we might actually want to. So we can choose... Lightfoot leader? Cavalry leader. We're going to f go for Lightfoot leader because that currently is very strong with the unit setup that we have. There we go. Our first alliance secured again. Lovely. Let the merchants in. And have them tell their tales of Hindustan. Should we accept this gift? Oh, he's a good commander, so yeah. We'll accept this kind gift. Let's see. No one to replace, really, but... Commanders die. So we might need to eventually, anyway. I don't think I've ever heard this song. I'm really enjoying this song. Right, so we're just taking this county for all that it's worth. And then we go move south. Ooh. My daughter and heir to something. Gains two marshal. We gain 50 prestige. Okay, um, so what just happened is this broke in out of the revolt. We don't want this. So we're going to raid them, be angry with him, crush him, and then turn back to raiding him. We don't want this split up, really. We would like to have a strong tributary down here. So we will go take care of this. And siege it down to the ground as well. Yeah, we're not going to attack because it's not worth it. We just want the gold. All the gold here. Maybe a... A hostage or two. We have looted 3.25 gold from this. See, it's already paying off. All right, child likes educational focus. Let's have her be this. Can we... Nope, nothing interesting to be done with her. Daughter was born to my niece. She is a bastard of my dynasty. So let's check if we can't have something good out of her. Nope, nothing good will come of her. So already our prestige is going up, as well as our gold. So we'll just keep on looting everything here.
and begin moving our troops. And once that has been done, we shall declare war to extort tribute. The petty kingdom of Gwynedd is going to join him. But that shouldn't be an issue. Should be fine. Even without calling on our allies. We will call our vassals. Who at least some of which are joining. So. Actually. We'll put our Lightfoot leader, which is ourselves here. And him over there. So he has the most cavalry. And he gets this flank. That should be a clear cut case. As predicted. And at least one of our vassals joins us. Which is our husband. Let's have him attach. And this should be over right quick. After he is in our tributary, we will offer him to join his war and get things back in order. Well, I could be a cavalry leader as well as a lightfoot leader, but I'd like something else. I, I hope for a siege, that would be great. Because then I could lead the strong big center. See the siege, there's a lot of things happening. It doesn't really matter all that much. Um, but it's fun to read. Alright. So now... We're going to offer to join him in his war, which he's going to ac accept. Already another ally has joined him here. The campaign has been easy pickings. Lovely. <laughs> Alright. Look! Enemy commander Bishop Kolku is hiding. Someone suddenly shouts. Should we really go and duel him? Sure, let's try. I cannot believe what is happening, but with each swing of his dagger, Bishop Koku is getting closer and closer to winning this fight. Jumping back to avoid yet another frighteningly lucky blow, I find myself backed against a large rock. So we could die here, or we could lose some prestige, be imprisoned. Um... We could offer someone in our stead. Honestly, dueling doesn't work out for me. Let's lose our great commander here. And... Well, we didn't become the traitor. We might, yeah, might as well have been. But this is why you're kind of stuck up on commanders. You're going to lose them. Sometimes it's because you offer them as uh, an exchange for your own life, really. Whoopsie is all I can say to that. Whoopsie. Good, okay, so we are well poised to win this. No trouble whatsoever. And with this done, we shall. Fine, let's kill those troops, just in case the AI has some sort of hang-up. There we go. Let's stand down our troops. And check who else we could start... ...hassling. Force vassalization. Vassalization. 
My husband has a claim here, which you might want to press, honestly. <laughs> Many choices. What can we do with him? Forced vassalization. They don't ever take the offer. Well, they sometimes do, but not really in this setup that we're playing currently. <laughs> oh boy. People do not like us and they are well not to. We need to switch to Gregarious once all this is said and done so we can begin making some friends here. Um, at least with our bishop. My brother. Let's see, can we appoint a successor? 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 We can. So let's have him be he who shall succeed he. Right. And all our further designs will become apparent soon.